Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I thought I would make a review on one of the coolest helping hands you can buy. This version of the helping hands base is by URUAV. And no, I'm not going to pronounce it, I'm just going to spell it. There are other types of helping hands that use the same type of arms, but personally I think this is the best one that you can get. Most of these are designed with RC drones in mind, but can serve a purpose on anybody's bench that works with PCBs. So this one is called the URUAV Top Hand 6 Arm Soldering Station Multifunction Tool. It comes with 6 arms with one 5 volt DC 3 centimeter fan and a soldering iron stand. It was supposed to come with other small attachments that fill up the holes on the stand, but unfortunately it never did. The aluminum alloy base weighs 494 grams, that's one pound. I did change out the feet on the bottom of the stand because one side of the stand would tilt if you put some weight on it. So I recommend picking up some rubber feet. I'm sure your local store may have something like that. You might be able to pick up uh, no slip stoppers from your dollar store, dollar tree, just anywhere that you can find in your local area. So what makes these stands amazing is the ability to have other attachments you can buy for it. I did find a few more on Banggood. That's where I bought the stand from. So I picked up RJX 2080 USB lamp, RJX 1739 USB fan, and Realec magnifying glass. The RJX 2080 USB lamp is quite bright and extremely helpful when you need to see what you're doing. If you unscrew the lens, it just looks really bizarre. I've never seen an LED lens look like that. It is made out of plastic, even the LED looks quite interesting. The RJX1735 USB fan is a 6mm brushless fan, far better than the 3cm fan that the stand came with. If you want to know how loud they are, 3mm fan first, this is kind of an unfair test, but uh, this is as best as I can get it, that way you guys can actually hear it. Six millimeter. That was a bit of uh, an unfair test, so I thought I would let you actually hear it through the camera itself. This one is pretty much as quiet as it can get. You can actually hear this one, but I'll let you decide for yourself. I, I can't even hear that. But this one you can. But it blows a lot of air. The real like magnifying glass is an interesting one. This is an 80 millimeter magnifying glass that zooms 10 times in. Extremely helpful at times. I like it comes with a handle if you want to keep it portable. Even the handle looks pretty cool. It's got a dragon on it. I would say it's downfall is the gold around the lens. It's made of plastic. This also means that the threading is also plastic. So be careful that way you don't strip it. It does come with an arm so you can screw it on. The one annoyance that I don't like about the attachment extras is they don't come with the bottom screw piece that way they can go into the stand. You'll have to remove three on the other arms that came with the stand in order to use those arms. So that is kind of a pain. I saw that there are a couple of other arms that you can buy. This one is a clamp and the other is another type of light. I'm not sure if there's others as just these three extra ones were hard to find as is. So you're welcome. So I'm going to switch over to my camera and I'm going to show you me setting this thing up. That way you kind of get a gist of how this thing works and what you could do with it. And I can definitely say that this is far, far better than these crappy helping hands that I've had for a lot of years. So if you do have these, this is definitely a big upgrade. So I thought I'd give you a hands-on approach at this. That way you can get a rough idea what you can do with it. Since I'm not going to be using these three, uh, I'm just going to show you demos with the other add-ons. Uh, my plan is, is I have a couple of demo boards here on the side and I want to set it up in front like this and I'll have that facing here with the light. I'm going to be putting these on here like this. The fan I'll put in the back. This light I will put on the other side. And the magnifying glass 
Eh, I guess I could set it on this end. So I have one empty spot. I don't know if I'm going to need that. I doubt it. But I will need these two. So I'm just going to bend them like this. So this will be my work area. I'll just put this demo board in here. Like so. So what's really nice is I picked up one of these from one of my local areas that has just a bunch of switches for every individual uh, USB port. I can use that for the fan, the light. So I'll plug the fan in. Plug the light in. This means that I can turn the fan and the light on at any time. So I'm going to move this light probably in front, something like that maybe. And the fan, depending what I want to do here. Uh, I can move the fan up. This can move. Like that. For one of the most handy type of uh, helping hands that you can get. It just looks bizarre. It almost looks like it's an octopus of some sort. Really weird, weird type. But uh, yeah, it takes up a little bit of room. Like this here is just a ruler. Get the rough idea from that. It's just a little bit higher than a ruler depending how you bend these. So, yeah. Get the idea from there. And it's roughly on that side. I do really recommend this though. You do get other attachments and stuff. Like I can add this here as well if I really want to use another third hand. Maybe I want to hold on to this board as well. Just weirdly. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> like I said, it's so, so much better than these right here. I've had for a lot of years and if you have helping hands you probably have this as well I've I never use this because it's just a pain to deal with but yeah there you go hopefully you enjoy the video please do rate subscribe and I'll see you in the next one